I've wanted one of these for so long, actually. It's probably been a little under a year. I'm like, should I buy it? I don't know, is it gonna work well? It, is it gonna be small enough? The answer is yes. So I bought this for my fiance to help her out because I am quite the indecent human being with uh, doing chores around the apartment. Yes, I know, I guess you could chalk it up to me being a typical male, but no. I thought I would make it up to her and get one of these. So I made the mistake of ordering this right around Christmas hustle and bustle of deliveries. So you can't really see it. There's, we'll show you later, but it did get banged up on the backside of this a little bit. Uh, we had it delivered through Amazon Prime and uh, it came in, it was, uh, the packaging was great. It, it wasn't bad. The, I've seen it before. I've worked retail and shipments and this and that where packages are just, there's no place to put them. So everything gets stacked up really high and all that nonsense or gets thrown around and people are just in and out of picking up stuff from hubs and yeah, it's just not good. Okay, right. Portable dishwashers. Are they good? Are they affordable? Do they get you out of trouble with your fiance? Check. So where do we start with this thing? My questions were always, will it fit in a small apartment? We're only in a 600 square foot apartment and everything. This kitchen is tiny. I'm pretty much taking up all of it with a dishwasher, the camera, and me standing in here with the stove on the left. So let's take a look at the insides real quick. I will say that it looks fantastic inside. The one thing that's kind of sad is that I ordered this right before Christmas. It, it's an early Christmas present to Christine. You know, like I said, to kind of get a little extra help or automated help, if you will, around the, the apartment. So it looks great. It's got like this uh, matte stainless steel here, brushed. Um, it's got the usual stuff that all dishwashers have. I didn't know how things were gonna be. We'll get you a closer look in a little bit, but that's for like jet dryer, you know, like drying agents and then for your pods or your liquid detergent. It's it's just a miniaturized dishwasher. And I was like, well, it's probably not gonna have the same strength as a normal dishwasher, right? Wrong. I gotta say right off the bat, this has been fantastic. The first wash we put in there, of course the dishes weren't extremely dirty. They were rinsed out and kind of on the sides, you know, just stacked up waiting to get hand washed. But we threw them all in here. When it came out, it was great. So I gotta tell you off the bat that the build quality it feels really nice. I don't know how heavy this is. Christine, she's four foot 11, maybe 120 pounds at max, was able to lift this, you know, pull it in from the doorstep and unpack it and put it on the countertop. I'm 6'2", weigh 200 pounds, so I'm sure I would have no problem or you guys out there that are run that build or any build for that matter would be able to move this around, not a problem. It does feel, the door actually feels pretty quality. It's got some tension as in it doesn't just, it won't just flop open and bang down it actually has some staying power, some friction. And it doesn't feel bad either, it feels good. It's it's not a weird, like springy, like as you can see, that's pretty good. The roll in and out feels nice and smooth. There's no weird rickety, it doesn't feel cheap. This feels exactly like a, a, a standard size dishwasher, only the top level. It's pretty much a dishwasher cut in half so you can move it around. The inside looks even better. It, it was kind of, um, the stainless steel or the, the shininess of it was a little duller than it is now, but it looks fantastic after a couple washes. The first, very first wash, it looks great because the, the drying agent actually, is it's spotless back there, so it looks great. I do see after using it, there's a couple dings there that weren't there, you know, from things being put in. So yeah, jet dry, the pods. I got Cascade pods. You guys want a cookie? So I got this. These have been great. The only thing that I noticed with any anything using detergents boy this floor is driving me up a creek what i've noticed with the detergents and stuff like that is if you have like stuff hanging over here on the basket area enough for this to block this it won't pop open at all and you won't have any detergent so one load i had stuff like around here that kind of blocked this from popping open so i the second wash i just threw the the pod right down <laughs> in the bottom i'm just like screw it i'm not i'm not going to mess with it and rearrange the stuff yeah, it worked just fine. Okay, so build quality, definitely impressive, like for how much this costs. I paid total charge on the card was like $280 total. I was worried, so some of my other videos you'll see that I'll order stuff and it doesn't come in right or I overlook something, I didn't research it well enough. So I saw that uh, Amazon said, frequently bought with these. So <laughs> I just hit add to cart for both things. Essentially what I did is I bought two more of these little faucet hookups. They just screw into your faucet and then the little pipes in the back 
just snap onto it. There's like a snap fixture that snaps right onto it. And I bought two of these because I thought maybe I was missing something. I didn't have time to research it because it was late at night. I had to go to bed and I had to be at work in the morning. So I just bought it. So I spent an extra maybe $15 that I didn't have to. So total purchase, it's 270 bucks for this dishwasher in general. One thing I'll say before we get a closer look and actually load it up and put it through its paces is that uh, I thought, Christine and I both thought it was going to be very noisy. We thought it was going to be like you know, vibrating the countertop and neighbors and the business down below would hear it. I got to say, guys, this is the quietest thing I've heard in this house. I think my Keurig coffee maker makes more noise than this thing. I, I'm not even joking. Okay, let's get to the next step and load her up. So in here, you may not be able to see it too well on camera, but there's a little thing here to adjust the dispense amount of the jet dryer or drying agent. So I'm just going to throw some in there to show you. I think it's got plenty in there already. Christine just filled it. So it takes a lot. It's, it's a standard dishwasher operation. Honestly, I was very surprised at how, like, see, I'm that's half the bottle right there and it's still not all the way full seals up like that. I've noticed, like I said, this uh, area up here, like kind of kept this from flipping open. I thought maybe it was from jamming this down in here. So I just drop it in there lightly and not even force it you know, with the little tips like that. So I'm just going to sit there and pop that like that. And then we just close her up. Before we get into showing you how it actually operates with the buttons and the modes and all that stuff, we're going to hook up our water supply. So I thought this was going to be really chintzy and just like maybe maybe a little heavier than it is and this would weigh down this and kind of put a lot of pressure on the faucet but it doesn't it this thing is really like it's well made honestly these uh crimps here and the way it, it came all assembled nicely like into the machine it, it's it's good it's you just pull this down once this is installed it came with this by the way you know how i said i spent 15 dollars on the little attachments it came with one, so I have a total of three now. What you do is you just pull this down, and that's it. Um, you turn your hot, I put the hot water side on. It's got, this is actually better, well built, like more than I thought. You just press that down a little bit. You still get a decent amount of water. This thing heats up the water itself, the, the washing machine. So I just put it on this to assist, if you will, Sometimes, uh, what was it? The first night we got it, uh, the hot side wasn't even getting hot with the first pull of water in to start the cycle. So I was like, oh, okay. And it's still nice and hot. It cleans very well with a really nice temperature of around 160 Fahrenheit. I'd have to look at the manual again, but it's roughly 140, 160-ish on the temperature. Okay, the one thing you want to pay attention to when you're taking this apart, actually, is to turn your faucet off. And it's still going to kind of bucket you like when you pull it off the pressure's still there so it's going to do that so that might surprise you the first time but that's how simple it is not even five pounds of pressure to put it on and off I, I would suggest maybe holding your hand on the top of the faucet if you can maybe so you're not wrenching the tar out of your uh, your faucet and just turn it on and uh, it's all pressured up real quick just want to show you it's a standard AC plug for the states when you order there's nothing it doesn't hook up to anything other than just your standard 110 volt so to power it up you just hit the upper left button powers up like that real simple this is your delay on the lower left it's how like let's say let's say you want to step out and two hours later it'll do the dishes or something like that you can set a delay two hours four hours eight hours then on your right you have your mode so there's eco mode, there's glass only, there's uh, non-drying mode, is the rinse. Yes, so in your manual, you'll go through and it says, you know, heavy, normal, eco, glass, speed, and rinse. So heavy, normal, eco, glass, non-dry, and rinse. And that's it. That's all you have to do. We've been running it on heavy because it's shorter. For some reason, it's 10 minutes shorter and uh, some of the stuff we've been put putting through this has been actually pretty tough. I will say some of those, you know, like uh, glass pans, 
or glass bowls and stuff like that that have really dried on stuff like any remnants of, you know, like let's say salmon or something really tough, like dry, super dried on pasta stuff. I did see some issues with that, but I think that's just like, even even a human has trouble with a sponge or an abrasive pad, you know, with super hot water, soapy water. So that was totally normal to me. I mean, dishwashers only can go so far, but this thing is actually pretty good for its size and cost. Okay, so we are going to hit start and let her do its thing. Yeah, be sure to turn off the delay, by the way, for demonstration purposes. That is the most noise it makes, honestly, out of all of it, is that and maybe it uh, purging the line here, which it will do shortly. So it's been a little over an hour and 10 minutes and it's still doing its thing. I didn't quite track it. I should have put a timer in it, but let's take a look at dimensions real quick. So the front is going to be 21 and a half inches, just slightly over that 21 and three quarters. The depth of it is going to be 19 and a half, 19 and a half, 21 and three quarters and get it here 17 and a quarter inches tall the door itself it's about 13 just a little over uh, an inch over a foot so yeah that's the size of it um, the hosing looks adequate for quite a ways over but uh, this is kind of the setup you're looking for so yeah let's go ahead and open it up see how it looks right now it's it's drying right now so Let's see. <laughs> That's great. Thirsty, anyone? Well, yeah. As you can see, like the plastic cups that come from... Ah, oh, I didn't try... Oh, look at that. Okay. I've never tried that or seen that before, but... As you can see, it's still drying off a little bit. This looks okay. You're gonna get the typical dishwasher stuff. Gosh, it's nice and hot. Like, these glasses are absolutely flawless with the uh, dish drying solution. Nice and hot. When you pull it out, gosh, that's hot. I would say over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's take a look. So coffee cups and stuff, you're going to get the traditional water reservoirs on top of some indent glasses. But there we go. These look fantastic. Like everything's clean on the bottom. There's no residue. Absolutely flawless. Let's look at the plate here. Yeah, this is nice. This is like restaurant. You know how you go to a buffet and you grab a plate that just came out of the dishwasher and it's like, ooh, I'll eat. It's just like that here. Perfect. Let's look at this bowl. Perfect. Not deformed or ruined by hot water. This glass always comes out perfect. This one right here, as you can see. Definitely worth the money, guys. I I didn't look close enough or I didn't do enough research to see if there's other videos out there, but I thought I'd make one myself to tell you how pleased I am with this. And it's portable. That's the nice thing. We can take it with us, you know? There's the water here, 
so this is going to ruin the effect, but uh, there's a little residue right there. I wonder what that's from. Is that wipeable? This glass had a bunch of weird chalky stuff on it, but it, it looks great other than the little bit of residue that was on there. Is there anything else we can look at? Silverware. This one was pretty messed up, but that looks good. Yeah, it looks great. Not only is it nicely cleaned, it's got that nice shine to it from the uh, jet dry. Let's see how this turned out. Yeah, you can even see it cleaned it so well that you can see the score marks from like a sponge and other things cleaning this out. It's funny, you can see a lot more defects in the glass. Hmm, what's this? Oh, it's just water that hasn't fully evaporated yet. But you can actually see like the scratches and indents and stuff. The glasses are so clean. Feels great, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing feels wrong with it. Yeah, this is fantastic. Things come out nice, hot, clean, dry if I let it dry all the way, except for stuff like this. You know how that is with other dishwashers you've seen before. But yeah, absolutely perfect. Every time you clean it, the inside of this looks beautiful. Every time. <laughs> it's great. So it's pretty much done. So we're going to sit here and just turn it off, and we're good to go. Lastly, I just want to show you the damage, if you can see that at all. I don't know if you can, but this is pretty dinged back in there. And it's the same on the other side, and another spot on the left side, front. Just little tiny bits here. You can see the ding in the back right there, and then how it kind of lifts up in the front right. And same goes for the left side, as you can see here. All right, my apologies on the uh, exposure of the whole video. It was pretty hot the whole time, so I turned it down to kind of like what it looks like to the eye. And that's the color. It's just pure white, a little black strip in the front. There's a space down here. It's a great little unit. You can see, compared to my arm and the rest of the unit, it's, it's fairly decent size. It's not tiny, tiny like I thought. As you can see... Some dishes in there. Definitely for the money and the utility and the niceness of portability. I, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I don't know how long it's going to last. That might drop over time. It may. I haven't even tried to uh, mess with the filters or anything like that down here. There is one. I didn't take that out. I, oh, there it is. It just spins and lifts. The filter just pops right out. You can clean that. I hadn't messed with that until just now, and it looks very easy to deal with. So it just sits down, then you turn it. Okay, there we go. Once again, 10 out of 10, guys. Great little unit for utility. I would just recommend not ordering it around Christmas because this thing is kind of banged up. But that, I knew it. The moment I clicked order and it was, you know, like a week away from Christmas, I'm like, what am I thinking, you know? But other than that, great job to... Amazon and uh, to Home Labs. Guys, thanks for taking time out of your day to watch the video and learn about this uh, little guy here. And hope you enjoy yours as much as mine if you decide to pick one up. You guys take care. Have a great Christmas. Take it off. All you have to do is pull it down with the faucet off, of course. What am I doing? I'm not going to be a stupid YouTube piece of shit. Hey, guys, guess what? New dishwasher. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good. Yes, yes.